Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Math Sushi game. When you first start the game, this is the menu you'll see. If you click the Master, you can choose to play with all the subjects. You can see the, all the subjects being addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. If I was to click Start now, I would play with all these operations in play. If I wanted to just do addition and subtraction problems, I just unhighlight those. Click those to unhighlight them. Okay, let's look at the main menu. And when you first start up, I recommend the dojo levels. They're the kind of the training ground. And then once you're happy with that and, and feel comfortable doing that, you can switch over to the master levels. Let's take a look at the dojo levels. And you have 15 levels, and you can see that I've gotten all three basically stars here, but for the stars instead of being stars are sushi. And these I haven't done yet, the ones that are not highlighted. Um, right now, if I play these levels, it'll be addition only and I can click this arrow over here and it'll take me subtraction, multiplication, division and I can go back to addition. You can choose to play medium, hard, or easy. I'll be playing the easy level but before we do that I like to kind of give you a idea of what the game will look like and what you'll need to do. It's much easier for me to do it from a static image when I'm not playing versus uh, it gets a little hectic, so I thought I'd kind of show you what goes on and what everything means here. Now, this is uh, your kitchen, your sushi restaurant. This is you, the master sushi chef. And these are your customers. Now, these bars under here represent how long they've been waiting. Green, they've just got there. They haven't been waiting too long. And uh, the yellow, it's about halfway down. It's yellow. This customer been waiting quite a while. It, it'll from yellow as it gets down smaller it'll turn red and when it runs out the customer will leave. So you need to take care of the uh, customers that are obviously in the yellow and red and uh, above their heads little speech bubbles but instead of speech it's symbols and this customer right here has his order ready. You can see a small ticket there. This one is waiting for his sushi dish which means you've already taken his order and the other only other symbol you will see is a dollar sign and that means that the customer is eaten and he's ready for you to take his money. The red arrow here indicates that you need to prepare a meal so the way I would play this at this point um, I would probably uh, take this customer's order by clicking over here the sushi chef would go over there take his order and when you take an order you got to answer addition problem correctly. Well in this level it'd be addition. And then I would go over here and prepare the order. Click over here and the chef goes over there and you'll have to answer an addition problem. And at that point the meal will be ready and the one that is showing the sushi dish, this one here, you'll take the food to them. At that point once you take this customer's order the uh, bar will turn green. He's not uh, He's not waiting any for anything right now. He'll be uh, waiting. He's already ordered. This one will turn green, and then you'll take care of these other ones over here. I'll go ahead and uh, play the game, but that kind of gives you an idea on how to play. And if you want to turn off the sound, uh, the music on and off, you toggle this button. If you want to toggle the sound on, off, on and off, you click this button, and this button pauses the game. Okay, let's take a look at the game, and I'm going to actually go through and play the first level for you, see, uh, see how that, uh, so you can see how that works out even though I played it before. And here we are. <clears throat> no customers yet. Some will come up. There's one right now. I'm going to click on him. Take his order. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. I'm going to click 5. And now the red arrow is over there. That means I have a dish to prepare. And I could have taken the order from that other customer, but, you know, there's no reason to... Uh, uh, he's still in green over here, but I'll go ahead and take it now. <clears throat> 15. Go over here. 7, and this one's getting a little bit down. I'm going to take his order. Now, if you click the wrong answer, you can always just scroll through there, keep clicking the numbers until you clear it. Go ahead and take his money, 13. I better speed up. Oop, I uh, didn't click 13. There we go. I thought I'd clicked it. Let's get this one, take his order, 7. I'm kind of in a rush here. And I get this one. I got his food. I'd already prepared it, and I'm going to have another one to prepare, but I'm going to go over and give it to him. If I'm getting a little bit down, i got to prepare his meal. 
So you have all kind of cues up here on what you need to do. If there's a red arrow over there in the middle, that means you need to prepare a meal. And this one's ready to pay. And this one's ready to pay. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I was talking about earlier. If I accidentally type in 1, 3, it's the wrong answer. There's no erase button. So I just want 7. So I'm going to do 0, 7, and hit equal. It just kind of wraps around on that. So that's how you play the game. Um, I hope you enjoy playing this game. I hope the video helps a little bit. And thanks for watching.